And finally this evening, skateboards. For those of you who thought the skateboard had gone the way of the hula hoop and the narrow jacket, it hasn't. It's still with us and in some places getting even more popular. Jack Perkins reports. In some places, it's illegal to do it. In some places, they teach it in school. It is an increasingly big business, and for 10 million young Americans, it is more. At its simplest, skateboarding is a means of youthful transportation, a fun way to get places. That's how it started. But now, skateboarding is also a fun way to get no place. Skateboarding has become not just a means, but an end in itself. A way to go surfing when there's no surf. A way to do flip-overs and curls and ride-outs, 360s and wheelies. A way for a young man, and it is mainly young men, not women, to perform for his peers in what has developed into something between a sport and an art form. Used to be a skateboard was something made out of board and wheels from a skate. It's become more serious, which is to say more commercial. One company makes 20,000 wheels a day nowadays and cannot meet demand. Special polyurethane skateboard wheels. But do you want Cadillacs or Jumbos, Chicago trucks, and the board, preformed, molded, fiberglass, star-spangled, psychedelic, high-rise, flex or non-flex? Skateboards go up to $50. Making skateboards makes money. Riding skateboards can be risky. You feel that just watching and imagining. You know that when you talk to hospital emergency rooms, which report increasing numbers of skateboard victims each week. One Los Angeles hospital told us, among children, it has more skateboard injuries than anything else. Up to one-fourth of all children's fractures, it says, are skateboard. Orthopedic surgeons have nicknamed one particular elbow break the skateboard fracture. All right, you're going to do a front hand balance, but once you land on your hands just for an instant, then you take the rest of the impact across your back and leg. In San Diego, they have begun teaching skateboarding in school, a PE course. Figuring even though it's risky, kids are going to do it, so let's help them do it as safely as possible. It was an experimental class this year. It will be system-wide next. Because, as the teacher says, skateboarding is important for some young people. Kids today are looking for different modes of expression, and certainly uh, their particular identity uh, in a world of chaos is important. So skateboarding gives them a, an individual way to express themselves, uh, much like uh, dance does, or skiing. Or very, it's a very individual sport, something you can really get into. So, take your choice. Skateboarding today is an exhilarating sport, a hazardous pastime, a means of self-expression, a booming business, or all of the above. Jack Perkins, NBC News, Los Angeles. And good night for NBC News.